Daniel. Is that you? Mm -mm. Okay, under the table now. Hey guys and welcome to the Song of Horror. To some of you who have been with the channel for quite some time, this may sound familiar because we did play in November 2015 the Kickstarter demo of the Song of Horror. They're now coming to Steam. It's not an early access title, it is an episodic horror adventure game and this is episode one. It's coming, I think, on the 31st of October to Steam. Um, it's currently the planned release date and it describes itself as a survival horror adventure. Face the manifestations of the presence, an unpredictable eldritch AI that reacts to your way of playing. You won't experience two exact gameplays. Now that sounds very interesting. Anyway, I'm really excited to try this out. I hope you guys are gonna have a good time. So let's get started. Okay, that's normal. My music box does that all the time. Okay. So he wasn't too happy about that. Well, I wouldn't be either. We recommend using headphones and a controller for a more immersive experience. Oh no, I'm playing with keyboard and mouse. I hope that's gonna be okay. September 25th, 1998. Yeah, I'm playing this with mouse and keyboard at the moment, but if it becomes awkward, I will switch over to the controller. Oh man, this character model looks so much better. Daniel's apartment. Home sweet home. Okay, so we have no mouse movement with the camera. It's basically just moving directions. Okay, I see that's why it's probably better with a controller. Let me just switch to controller quickly. And we're back. We're now playing with the controller. Um, I don't know what each button does, but I'm sure we're gonna figure it out. Oh, it says A. <laughs> Those bring back some really good memories. What do we have there? We have a torch there, I think, as well. So let's pick that up. My old flashlight, it saved me more than once in the great outdoors. Oh, we can't actually take it. B, A, C, Y, no, okay. Yes, there's a C button on my controller. No, turn it back on. We do not like spoopy areas with darkness. What do we have over here? Oh, we have this, oh, the phone. Oh, crikey, seriously? Hello. You're joking. Friday evening, and there's an emergency? This is serious business. Sebastian Husher is nowhere to be found, and his manuscript should have been at the office by Tuesday. He won't answer his calls, and he hasn't shown up at his office at the university. He's vanished into thin air. Oh, don't screw with me, Etienne. Call him on Monday, or send a courier for him. I, I just got in the door less than five minutes ago. I go myself, but I've got to attend Albert's performance in half an hour. Plus... Usher's house is closer to your place than it is to mine. Come on, man. The sooner you go, the sooner you'll get back home. You're going to owe me a big, fat favor. Whatever you want. Write this down. 4 Abbott Thomas Road. In the old housing developments along Highway EB-15. EB-15? Good God, that's out in the sticks. I plan to take a few days off after this. Well, we'll talk about that once you find it. Oh. And if he gives you the manuscript, don't show it to anyone. And don't go selling it off to the highest bidder. I'll see what I can do. We'll ring you up when I get back. Thanks, Dan. You're saving my skin. All right. The plot thickens. Again. Another bloody Friday working as an errand boy. I love the drawn I suppose they're too important over the publishers to come looking for jolly old Husher themselves. Shit. Even I should be too important for that. <laughs> I mustn't overstretch my complaints. Rising from my lot as a drunkard and financial ruin to that of an errand boy is actually quite an improvement. 
If only things had gone a bit better for the company. Or I'd got on the wagon a bit sooner. Damn, Sophie did the right thing when she divorced me. I would have divorced myself in her place. I like the way how they show the historical, um, the past of the Daniel character. Noya, the bloody alcoholic. <laughs> Chin up, you. That is Daniel Noya, the bloody ex-alcoholic, after all. Wake publishes employee by day, Wake publishes screwed over lackey by evening. <laughs> Even Friday evenings. But if I could find Husha, I have a feeling my status at the company would rise quite a bit. After all, he is the publishing firm's biggest star. Oh, very good, exactly. Well, let's cross our fingers and hope he's home. Let's hope so. The Husha Mansion is a large 19th century colonial house property of Sebastian P. Husha, acclaimed professor and historical fiction author. Well... Okay, it doesn't look too big, so we can't get lost in it, which is good. I'm actually very impressed with the uh, voiceover so far, because I believe the game is um, Spanish developers. And at the time of the Kickstarter, you could download the game in Spanish or in English. So the, it's really nice to see the translation was there from the start. A prelude, a Friday like any other. Okay. Let's find your man, get in and out. Easy job. Okay, does he have children? That looks like a child's toy. A tricycle, I didn't know Hosha had kids, exactly. Okay, I mean, we're gonna go straight to the front door. We're gonna go right in. Can we run? Oh, we can. I think that's the run button. Let me see. Let me just check. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So holding down L2, that's the run button. Okay, very good. I like it. Oh, what is this? A newspaper. That murderer they arrested about a week ago is on the front page. Okay, let's go in. Hello? Is that music? I'd better take a look. Oh, if that is the music box, we better make sure that we don't uh, touch it. No touchies. Okay, light source. Each character has their own light source. To turn it off and on, press RT. Once it's on, you can choose the direction in which you want to point the light. To do so, use... Okay, I get it. This will allow you to illuminate specific areas and also help you interact with objects that might not be right in front of your character. Your light source will never run out. Use it as much as you need. Oh, I like that. Thank you. Okay, so let's continue. So there we go. Is light source. Someone playing a music box? Okay, I like it. So let's check out the clock. What is this? Okay, it looks like a travel book. This is just informational. The clock marks 12. Guess it needs fixing. So I don't know if we have to look at everything or if it's just like, you know, for immersion that you can look at everything. But what do we have here? This is the code, the alarm. The alarm seems disabled. Much better if it goes off. I'll have a lot of explaining to do. <laughs> yeah, if it would have gone off. So let's see where the music comes from. I think it comes from the left. No, this we can't go in here. Okay, what is this? The weird all these suitcases doing here. So maybe he was about to leave. Okay, I think it comes from this room. All right, I can't turn. I, I want to turn, but it only turns my uh, flash torch. There we go. Okay, that's an, unfin an unstarted, not an unfinished. Oh, what is that? Look at all those bottles. They always ruined my life. And what do we have here? The scariest beast of them all. It's here to our left. Oh, there's a door. Let's go in here because I think it might be coming out of here. Okay. Oh, what is this on the door? On that door. This is where the music comes out of, I think. You have found an examinable item. Examine it uh, to gain information by pressing A. To examine the backside, use R. You can access your inventory and collect the document at any time. Okay, let's do this. Let's do it right now. Okay, so, okay, we can rotate it and everything. What does it say here? Show text. 
Would you be willing to help me find any clues regarding this box and its mysterious melody? It would be forever. I would be forever grateful. With the warmest of wishes, Isaac Faber. P.S. I've also enclosed the little information I managed to find about said box. Okay, what is the little information you found about said box? Dear Sebastian, how are you? To be completely honest, I must admit that we are all impatiently awaiting your latest work. My dear friend, I must ask for a favor of you. Enclosed with this letter, you will find one of the latest items we have purchased at the store, an ornate music box with fascinating engravings. The craftsmanship is astonishing, but something else has caught my eye. Or perhaps, I should say ear, the melody. Sebastian is peculiar. You have to listen to it yourself. I had never heard the song before and my attempts at finding the score or the name of the composer have failed. I cannot for the life of me get that melody out of my head. Okay, a letter for Husha found by Daniel in the author's mansion, post stamped 1998, August 1st. Okay. Interesting. Okay, let's go in. I mean, this is where the music box is coming from. What the? Why? Where can there be a door there? Why is there... Okay, I, I want to leave. Where's that music coming from? Okay, the music box doesn't seem to be in here. What do we have here? The radio is older than me. Okay, let's go. Oh, hullabaloo. Okay, there's a music box right down there in the basement. Is it? Well, yeah, sure. Let's ignore all the... Ah, come on. Ignore the fact that this door looks like it wanted definitely to be shut. Hardly taken a step forward when I heard the door close behind me. When I turned around, the door wasn't there anymore. Ah! Oh! And all that was left of it was a strange shadow on the wall. I searched. I despaired. And I screamed until my throat began to burn. The candles started to run out, as did the batteries in my torch. Okay, so we shouldn't have gone down there. Most suffocating darkness. The hours went by, until turning into days, and I began to fall what? in and out of a restless sleep. I would hear voices, sometimes right next to me, other times a few yards away. It seemed like. They were coming from the other side of the wall. Desperate cries, howling in horror, and sometimes, the worst of all, a vast, oppressive silence would fall, seeming to emanate from everywhere and nowhere all at once. There was nobody there, just hallucinations. Nightmares, black nothingness, and the song from that music box. Trapped in this impossible place, I wondered if I was going to die there. Three days later. I thought this was the end of the game. I thought it was the game going, well, you died. You shouldn't have gone in there. Etienne? Do you have any news on Daniel yet? Oh, Sophie. No. We've been calling him at home all day, but there's no response. Do you know if he's got a mobile phone? No, I don't think so. And if he does, he doesn't tend to keep it on him. Oh, man. I think I should pass by the Husher place when I leave, just to see if they know anything. Husher the writer? Your client? Yeah. I sent Daniel over there on Friday, and I haven't heard from him since. What's the address? I'm going to stop by Daniel's place, and if I don't find him, I can go around and ask about him. The house on the outskirts of town, on Highway EB-15. Number four, Abbott Thomas Road. It's a big house. Okay. I'm headed over. Call me if you find him. You're not concerned uh, that people keep disappearing around that address and maybe call the police? It's been three days since Daniel entered the Hush's mansion. No one has heard from him since. Okay, I wonder if it's different if we wouldn't have gone down there because we now play a different character. And I remember from the demo that you can play up to like 16 different characters or something, yeah? Uh, so you have 16 lives and it's like permadeath. So I wonder if he died, if Daniel died, and that's where we play her, that if you play the game yourself, 
you might get to play it through with Daniel because you don't do what I did. We'll see. Anyway, maybe this is intended to happen. Light source candle. L uh, life has put Sophie to the test many times, but she always pulled through. Thanks to her extraordinary resilience, she summoned the strength to put an end to her failing marriage with Stanley. Oh, she's the ex-wife. Sophie, who runs this well-known art gallery, is now enjoying her ever-elusive prosperity. She has always longed for speed, stealth, strength, serenity. Now, we didn't have any stats on Daniel, so this could be well have been intentionally. Oh, we can play him. Oh, okay. Alexander? I don't even know who you are. Okay, Alina Ramos. Well, I think we're gonna stick with her. Whenever I light one, everything around me feels safer and more peaceful. Scented candles. Okay, so and it has three ticks on the bottom. I wonder if that means three lives. I don't know. I have no idea. Let's pick her. This is a really weird but nice touch that you have kind of different characters you can play to to go through the game and you maybe end up going play with all of them who knows maybe we're not meant to go so, so stay away from anything creepy and scary oh why would you go at night september 28th 1998 hell look there's a house where people keep disappearing it's the middle of the night well let's go in without any protection Okay, this time I'm gonna actually check here on the left. I'm gonna do slightly different things. Let's see if there's uh, anything to check here. I totally jammed. Okay, fair enough. Can we go into here? No. So we have to go into the house. The Husher Mansion. Oh. The door was open. Is there anybody home? Okay, so let's do it. Let's check this door here first. Okay, this is the bathroom. There's nothing, nothing, nothing suspicious going on here in the bathroom. Okay, we just have a mirror that we can look in. What does it say? There are greasy fingerprints all over the glass. Okay. Oh, we, she can go in that door. That was locked for Daniel. Okay, so what do we have here? Tears in the wind, a lovely melancholic, melancholy, I don't even know what that means, and a macabre touch. Uh, God, I've started to think the same way I talk to clients about works of art. Oh, I don't like this noise. There was something to look at a second ago, but we can't touch it. Why not? Oh, okay. So we do have to move the light. Packed suitcases, they're everywhere, but they're arriving for departing. Now, is there anything? Oh, there's a door here. Okay, which door shall we go in? Let's go and use this door. Okay, it's like a workstation, like a garage, yeah. Okay, there's a bicycle. There's a motorbike, okay. I love motorcycles, but never must have the courage to drive one. What is this? Boiler functioning upper panel. Shut down, press the left button. Press the central button. Emptying, press the right button. In case of malfunction, prevent correct boiler functioning. You can perform an emergency shutdown by keeping the blue button pressed for four seconds. Oh, what do we have here? Yes. An old metal box. Old, a rusty old metal box. Closed, shut down. Okay, fuses. Okay, this says fuses. Look closely. Huh. Okay, so is there anything else? No. You have to find a screwdriver. Okay, so we can use it. Can't open it. I think it's locked from the inside. Okay. So we do not want to go into the creepy door. I wonder if you could just send... Oh! Whoa! That's... Oh, I thought that was the door we came in from. It's like, what? Is that the door we came in from? That's not good. Okay. There's a letter there. Let's see what it says. My dear eccentric husband, I left your key in the top drawer of your bureau in the library. The children have been very nervously lately. We need to talk about this as soon as you get back, and I don't want them playing with it. Oh, he's talking about the no about the the box. See, is there anything on the back? No. Okay. So, the top drawer in his library. Okay. Can we turn on the lights? That would be great. Okay, what does it say? 
Oh, the death marches. Okay, so if this is the library, where's the top drawer? That's the piano. An upright piano, I played one just like it as a little girl. Oh crap balls. I don't think we should have done that. Okay, let's not do that again. Let's see if we can find the library. Oh, this is the library, top draw. Top draw. So here we go, here, here has to be the top drawer. Come on, take it. Excellent. I see a key in the drawer, but it's jammed. I've got to lubricate it somehow. What? Now I have to find lubricant? This is very... I know it's not zombies and all that, but it feels... It has a little hint of Resident Evil, possibly because of the controls and because of the way the characters moves. It's very nice. Okay, so I'm not going to go into that door again, to the small door, but I'm going to go into this door here. Okay, what is this? Is that a drink we can use as lubricant? No, the table has been cleaned. Oh, the mirror. I can't see anything, it's filthy. Okay, what is in that picture over there? Old family photos. There was something else on the other side of the table. I would fit under the table quite easily where I'm in need of hiding. Really? In need of hiding? We have to find the kitchen. Maybe we can find some, I don't know, washing up liquid or soap or something. Okay, I think... Are we back out in the hallway? Okay. Oh, what is this? Matches. Nice. Okay, so look closely. They're just ordinary matchbox. There are plenty of matches left. 50 matches. Okay, I don't think it's 50 left, but nonetheless, very good. I like it. Okay, we're back in the hallway. Um, this is where we got in. This is where... So where does this door go? That must go into the same room we just went in. Yes, it is. Okay, fair enough. Now, um, let's get back out of there and see if we can find the kitchen. There's another door here. Let's see actually if this door is getting us into the kitchen or something. Yes. Okay, so... There's something on the counter. There is. But there's also a picture here. Whoa, okay. Wow, this looks absolutely creepy, creepy. What does it say? Soul 7. That could be a password. A drawing done by Hosha's younger child. Drawing by Soul. Soul 7. Maybe it's just... Oh, there's another one. What's that? Souvenirs. There's some noise as well. And I'm really not looking forward to looking at what the noise is. Oh, it's electric wiring, I think. Hmm. Water came out from under the sink and there's a wire right there. Uh, that could be the reason why it's shortened. Okay, so we probably can dry the water up or something if we have something to soak the water up. Let me see what this is. Yes. A ring, a metal ring, look closely. Uh -huh. A ring made of iron, nothing unusual. Combine? Oh, look at that. Oh, that is so cool. Nice. Okay, we, we are combining it with anything. Of course mm -hmm. not. But we have the ring now in our inventory. It's really cool. Oh, please let that be soap. Nope. So we have two doors. Let's go to this one here. Mm -mm. Oh, we need a key. Okay, so we don't have the key. Mm -hmm. the, key is, the key still needs loop. Let's see what we have here. Oh, this is creepy. What do we have here? Preserved cereals, okay. I don't like it when the camera is like, we can't see ahead of us. Dog food. Okay, so they must have had a dog as well. Oh, what is this? Yes, oil, this is amazing. We can use that as a loop. So let's get the hell out of here. Let's take that with us. We can run through the house, we just casually jog and not like we're in terror. And What was that noise? 
You better take a look before you go back out. You press your ear against a door, walk up to it. When you see the listen icon, press and hold Y. While you're listening, pay attention to the sound that came from the other side. Ah, my balls. Are we going to die? Okay, let's go very slowly and see if we can have the listen option. Oh, we have to hold it. Okay. I, I don't hear anything. Using your map. From now on, you can listen to what's happening on the other side of unexamined doors. Sometimes you might have the chance to do it with other doors as well. Pay attention to the icons when you're near one. Use your map to find your way around. It records every single place you've explored so far. To open it, press L. The map will constantly update with the relevant information. Oh, that is awesome. I didn't hear anything. Okay, so where are we? We are now in the kitchen. Excellent. So we're in the kitchen. Oh, I love this. We now have a proper map. Dining room, living room, library. And we need a key for this door. This it has a locked toolbox. The garage. Excellent. Front porch. Okay, so let's go back to the library. We can't move anything around or anything. Okay, fair enough. Now we should be safe if there was nothing on the other side. So now we should be able to use the oil on the drawer, get the key out. There we go, let's see what happens. I see a key in the drawer. Okay, so how do I use things with it? Okay, so let me see. Okay, so if we get the oil now and I click use, she will use it on the things she's near. Okay, okay, let's, let's, can we see if we can open the drawer? Yes, looks like an old key. Look closely. This key uh, will usually open more than one door. Okay, there's no engraving on it or anything. No, excellent. Okay, actually, if we combine it with the toolbox. Oh, okay, can't open the toolbox. We still need the screwdriver for it. Oh, is that it? There's a folder in the drawer. I wonder what's in it. Well, check it out. Oh, nice. There was more. Haiku folder three. A piece of collectible. A reddish folder containing a bunch of papers. Okay, there's nothing left in the drawer. Did we take it? Did we take the folder? We did. Yes, excellent. Whew, okay, let's get out of here. Now, we have a key. Now, let's go to the garage first because maybe this is where we're going to be able to find a screwdriver. Ah, mother of testicles. The phone. Should I answer? Hello? Sorry, who is this? I can't understand you. We can't leave my room. What the? Is that one of the children? sounded like a child. Is he in the house? Okay. That is creepy. Okay, listen, look look for the ear icon. There's nothing there, okay. We want to go back into the garage, if possible. I mean, so far so good. Nothing unusual is happening. We're cool. We're, we're, we're just flying. We're absolutely fine. Oh, listen first. Okay, we can basically hold it down indefinite. Nothing. Okay, let's open it. Mm -mm. And she doesn't use a key. Okay, so um, does she use a key automatically the second time? No. <sighs> okay, so we have to use the key. Okay, let's use it. Okay, let's listen to it again, just in case. I don't hear any footsteps or anything, so it has to be safe. Has to be has to be clear. Oh no. That goes down the basement. The basement of the house is not It's not safe. Hello! Making a lot of noise, making sure everything is okay. Okay, we're not scared, it's not creepy, it's just the basement. Okay, when the light is on, it looks just the same. Not creepy at all. Okay, what do we have here? There's some good wines here. Well, that's amazing. Let's not drink the wines. What is this? Yes. <gasps> okay. 
Dear Julia, if you found this note, congratulations. You're one step closer to solving the puzzle I prepared for you. I hope it keeps you entertained while I'm away. I've hidden four favorite doll in the safe and change the combination since you aspire to becoming a detective when you grow up. I think this is a great chance to put your deduction skills to the test. The new combination is as follows. The number of our street address, soul's age, which could be seven, which is on the paper. The number of our street address, damn it, what was it? 48, 14, ah, genie Mac, I don't know. The decade and year the canvas hanging upstairs right next to the staircase was painted. Good luck, my dear inspector. Hooks and kisses from daddy. Okay, save the riddle. Is there anything else? No, okay. It's actually a really cool riddle. What is this? A painting by Kaufman from 1945, but I doubt it's an original. Okay. Let's check out here first if there's more on this side. Is that the safe? Oh, what is this? There was something there. What is this on the floor? Is that on the floor or is that over here? Oh, what is this? There's some good... Okay, this is the wines again. Yeah, sometimes you don't know exactly what you're looking at. Oh, what is this? East Asian vases, okay. Or vases, whichever way. There's nothing here, nothing here. There's a big door, a big scary door. Welcome to the scary door. What do we have in here? Okay, so the fuses are in the toolbox. We can't open the toolbox until we have a screwdriver. Okay. Is there anything in here? I don't want to open the box just yet. So let's go just really quickly back to the other side and see if we can find something in here. Because I think there was another couple of things here to check out. Old junk washer. Ah. Holy shit. Did that radio just come on? Okay, so, we know that the street number is four, and soul's age is seven. We know that. So a canvas age could be, I don't know, 1945? Was that the one that was there on the floor, maybe? I don't know. Uh-uh. Okay, let's go upstairs, by the stairs, and let's check the year of the canvas if we can see it. Okay, can you move in? Because that slow moving is like really, 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 really scary, creepy. So let's see if we can find the canvas. So is it this one? The Death Marches by Carlo, and it was inspired by the prisoner transfer which took place in World War II. I wouldn't put it up in my home. There's another painting right here. Can't inspect it, let's go upstairs. See if there's another painting there. Ah, shit. I should take a look on this floor first. Okay. Okay, so one of the rooms we haven't gone into yet is the room where, where everything went bad. So let's go. What is this? Good music with good wine in other circumstances. Yeah, absolutely. So let's go. This is where the creepy door was. Mm -mm. Okay, we have a key. <sighs> okay, so we're now in the dining room. I don't know what this icon means in the dining room. Oh, change floor. Look at that. Puzzle, puzzle. What does this icon mean? Hang on a second. Oh, it's a hiding spot. Okay, so, oh, right. So if we need to find a hiding spot, we have to look for a room where we have this icon. And then by the kitchen, we have a door as well that the key can unlock. But let's go in here first, but not go into the weird door. Oh, the weird door doesn't exist. Oh, look at that. Show text. I saw another door yesterday. As I was walking by the dining room, I suddenly heard the music from Daddy's music box. When I went in, I saw the door. I went running to tell Mommy, but when we came back, it was gone. She scolded me for making things up. It's not fair. I was telling the truth. There was an old door here, different from the rest. It even had a key in the keyhole. If I see it again, I go inside and leave the door open. That way, Mommy will believe me. Saul, I saw the weird door Julia said. 
the one that wasn't there before. Mommy was very angry and kept yelling at Julia, the door is scary. I will hide the key in the dollhouse and I will hide the five dolls too, even if they get mad at me. And I will bring them out when Mommy and Julia forget about the door. One will be hungry, so her friend will make dinner for her. Another one will read while her mom takes a shower. The ugly one will watch the door so nobody comes in. Read while having a shower. Okay, so... I don't know, it sounds like kitchen and it sounds like one of the dolls is right here in this room. I mean, one of, one of, oh, there's a screwdriver. Let's take it. But it, it looks, it sounded like one of the dolls is supposed to be right in here watching the door. So. <sighs> Let's take the screwdriver. Okay. Let's use it. Okay, that's not how it works. Okay, let's combine the screwdriver with the toolbox. Mm -hmm. Look closely. Okay, so we have fuses. They say 15, 25, 20, 15 amp. Okay, so that's the ampage. 10 amp, 20, 25, okay. I don't know a great deal about electricity. What, <laughs> what do I know? <laughs> okay, let's put it away. When that radio comes on, I wonder if it's because there's something might be going on in another room. I have no idea. But let's take those fuses downstairs and turn the light on. That would be great. Hmm. Daniel. Is that you? Mm hmm. Okay, under the table, now! Come on! Oh, okay, something's trying to get in. Make sure that door does not open. To gather your strength, repeatedly press A. Once you feel strong enough to push and block the door, press RT. Oh my god, which one is RT? I don't know anything. Okay, this is RT. Uh, wait for maximum strength, effective, but risky. You decide when to push the door. Oh my god! Okay, let's go. Come on, come on! There we go, yes! Holy macaroni and cheese! Holy balls, mother of testicles on a bike. The door being extra careful. Luckily you made it this time, you're safe for now. You don't let your guard down. Whatever that was, it could still be lurking in the shadows. Certain events will give you the chance to put your ear to the door in rooms you have already visited. Just remember to be extra careful, it might save your life. Oh. oh God! What the hell just happened? What was pushing that door? I think we're gonna leave the first episode here. Ah! Uh, I think I had my fill for today with the song of horror. Or will we do the fuse? Ah, let's do the fuse. Let's do the fuse before. Bye bye. Okay. We have fuses. Let's go downstairs and put fuses in. Okay, we have four fuses. Let's see. Okay, select 10 amp, 25, 50, and 30 amp. <sighs> okay, so I think I got it now. Please let that be right. So basically, we need 25, 50, and 30. So we need all three except the 20 to go into box number one on the top left, which is the red cable, the blue one, and the green one, yeah? But we don't need 20. So we have to make sure that 20 doesn't touch any of the cables that have to go into the first box, which means 20 goes into the second box, which is the yellow cable. So the yellow cable will be then 20, but we need 30 on one of the fuses. So the 10 has to go where the other cable goes in the middle as well, which means it has to go on the bottom right. Now, on the top left, we're going to put the 15 because, well, that's guaranteed. So now we have in the top there, we have 25 on the top left. Oh, I think we might, we should have probably put the 15 on the other side because I'm just thinking, yes, it should have gone into the other side. Okay, so 
20 and 10 on the bottom. So let's restart. 20. 10. 15 goes here because that means we have 25 now on the right box. We have 30 on the left box. And this one will make the rest. Yes, I'll attempt to turn on the switch to see if it works. Okay, the fuses seem to be all right, but where's the switch? There. Ah! Why won't this work? Is some wire... Oh, yes, in the kitchen, the wet wire. Do we have to do the fuses again? No. Yeah, okay, in the kitchen we have a wet spot on the floor. We're gonna have to dry it somehow, so... The somehow we're gonna have to figure out another time guys i'm gonna leave this here thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it if you did remember to kick that like button in the balls and i hope i see you guys in the next video and if you're new to the channel and you like what you see hit that subscribe button and see you guys next time until then as always feel spaß and happy gaming